A final goodbye to Balmoral Castle as Queen Elizabeth II made her way to Edinburgh on Sunday with thousands lining the streets to say a sombre farewell. The six-hour funeral procession marked the beginning of three days of mourning centred on Scotland, a place where the monarch spent most of her childhood. The Queen's death there marked her close and long-standing ties to the nation. I mean, I felt I had to be here today. I mean, I was there at the Silver Jubilee. I was very young at the time, but my parents dressed me up as a silver birch tree. And the Queen's obviously been there for my whole life, so we just had to be here. Every year, the Queen spent her summers at Balmoral and celebrated her silver, golden and diamond jubilees in the nation. The monarch's adoration for the land was passed on to her children. Her son, now King Charles III, was sent to boarding school in Gordonston, studying there for five years. And after his marriage to Princess Diana, the king spent his honeymoon at Balmoral Castle. But with renewed calls for Scottish independence, support for the monarchy is at its lowest. While 58% of Great Britain back the royal family, less than half of all Scots support the monarchy. On Sunday, Scotland's First Minister led tributes to the Queen, saying she loved and respected the monarch, despite calling for an independence vote in 2024.